Hi, this is Shelly from Frugal Family Home, and today I wanted to share with you an easy recipe for caramel apple oatmeal. It's a simple recipe, and let's get started. The first thing we'll add is water, and our second ingredient for the caramel sauce will be brown sugar. We're going to put that in the pan over medium-high heat, and we're going to stir to dissolve the sugar. Now you're only going to stir to dissolve the sugar until the sugar is dissolved. And then after that, we're just going to let it bubble and cook for about eight to 10 minutes. And then we'll take it off the heat. Now that our mixture is up to bubble, we're going to just let it stop stirring and let it bubble for about eight to 10 minutes until it's done. Now our cooking time is done and we're gonna add the coconut oil and stir that in. And we're going to add in the salt. We're just going to stir to dissolve this. You can do this on the burner. I've turned off my burner here, um, but just stir it to incorporate it. And then once it's done, we'll just set it aside and let it cool. It will thicken as it cools too. Now we're going to prepare the oatmeal. First, we're going to add some water to the pan. And after we get the water in the pan, we're going to add a little bit of salt also. And we're going to stir to dissolve the salt and bring that up to a boil. Now that our water is up to a boil, we're going to add in our rolled oats. I'm using the regular rolled oats. And then we're going to add to that the powdered oats that we just made by processing some of the oats in the food processor. We're going to stir and then we're going to let this simmer, stirring occasionally for about five minutes. Now that the oatmeal is done cooking, we're going to add the diced apples. I like to put the diced apples at the end because they don't get overcooked and mushy this way. They stay tender, crisp, and really nice. And we'll just stir this in, and then we're going to go ahead and take it and put the oatmeal in the bowls. Now our oatmeal is done, and it's time to put the caramel sauce on the meat we made earlier. I just like to drizzle it over the oatmeal. You can also add some of the caramel sauce to the oatmeal while it's still in the pan and mix it in if you like a little sweeter oatmeal. But if you don't like it too sweet, then a little caramel sauce on top is just perfect. And that's it.